In this video, we are going to discuss about frequency shifting property in Laplace transforms. So, up to now we discussed several properties related to Laplace transform. This property is also very important when we are solving frequency related problems that means uh, shift related problems. When you are having any signal multiplied with any exponential then you can use this property. So, here I am going to discuss frequency shifting property for that I want to consider any signal with particular Laplace transform. Here I am considering a signal x of t if that signal x of t is having Laplace transform x of s then frequency shifting property states that x e power s naught t into x of t. So, e power s naught t is nothing but so, here in S naught itself you are having a frequency component. So, exponential of e power of S naught t means you are adding another exponential another frequency. So, you are shifting in frequency that means you are shifting in frequency. How that shift will come means so here in spectrum you are going to get your shift in frequency that means x of S minus S naught you are going to get. So, this is the spectrum related to e power s naught t into x of t if x of t is having spectrum like x of s. If any signal x of t is having Laplace transform of x, x of s then the signal the same signal x of t if we multiplied with e power s naught t then that frequency is shifted to s minus s naught in the spectrum. So, I want to prove this. So, per, for proof I want to consider the normal Laplace transform of e power s naught t or e power x of t. Just Laplace transform equation I am going to consider Laplace transform of x of t is equivalent to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus s t dt. This is the Laplace transform of any signal x of t. So, now here we do not want the Laplace transform of x of t. We require the Laplace transform of multiplication with exponential. Same signal I want to consider here. So, e power s naught t into x of t. For this I need Laplace transform. I have my reference equation. Laplace transform of x of t is equivalent to x of s is equivalent to this is the fundamental equation. So, now in place of x of t I need to replace this resultant signal. So, here I am replacing so e power s naught t into x of t e power minus s t dt. So, in place of fundamental signal I substituted my required signal for which we are going to calculate the spectrum by using Laplace transform. So, here I am having common of t in these two exponentials I want to take it common e power I want to write x of t first I want to write in order of transform x of t signal into e power minus s minus s naught into t dt. You can see x of t e power minus s t dt this equation in the form of x of t is equivalent to e power minus s t into dt. But here in place of s you are having s minus s naught. You, if you are having s here that is equivalent to x of s. If you are having just s here then that is equivalent to x of s. If you are having s minus s naught or any other value in place of that transform equation I am just comparing these two equations. If this is equivalent to x of s this one we can write like x of s minus s naught that means in spectrum the frequency is shifted to s minus s naught. For example, I want to consider a modal problem related to this property. If they given, given x of s is equal to s by s plus 1, they given like this, given x of s is equal to s by s plus 1. They are asking what is the Laplace transform of x of t into e power 2t x of t into e power 2t. So, here we know that 
for x of t the Laplace transform they given is s by s plus 1. x of s is transform of x of t which transform Laplace transform. When you saw s domain in transform form then definitely you need to get an idea that is a Laplace transform. If you are having omega domain then you can say that is a Fourier transform. If you are having z in your transform equation that is a z transformed equation. So, here they given transform is equivalent to s by s plus 1. By observing transform name itself we can trace the signal this is the transform for x of t. They given Laplace transform for x of t. They are asking what is the Laplace transform of e power 2t into x of t. So, that will be is equivalent to this is x of s actually this is x of s. They are asking e power 2t x of t I want to apply this formula then my x of s will become x of s minus 2. x of s minus 2 means so here whatever value we are having here in place of x of s I am going to replace with s minus 2 s minus 2 divided by s minus 2 plus 1 that is equivalent to s minus 2 by s minus 1. We are not going for any Laplace transform equation or we are not going to solve any integrations or anything, but we are getting the Laplace transform of this signal. How means we applied frequency shifting property in Laplace transforms by that we can easily get the answer for this. That means the Laplace transform of e power 2 t x of t is s minus 2 by s minus 1 the Laplace transform of this signal by using frequency shifting property. Like this way we can solve different problems by using frequency shifting property. Only thing we need to keep in mind is if they given e power minus s naught t then you just take x of s plus s naught that is it. So, the remaining is same for e power minus s naught t also this is about frequency shifting property in Laplace transform.